than the hurricane. For all the people that know about um, Smokey Robinson. Oh, I love that song, y'all. It's called Quiet Storm. It's old by Smokey Robinson. Just go listen to that, y'all. It was just playing through my little brain this moment. But anywho, I had to come back, guys, to try to understand why it's so many people feeling so many different ways about my little boat. Like, mm, y'all, why? Like, y'all don't have to live there, you know, or, you know, have any type. You don't even have to look at it. You do have an option. You don't even gotta look at it. I'm so confused why people are so mad. And there's so many people that's really mad, you know. Um, you know, I'm, I'm looking at channels, other channels on YouTube, and they're talking about my little boat. And y'all, everybody got their opinions. Now listen, if I make a video and I'm asking for advice or opinions about stuff because i do i think yeah the video that i have out right now um it's on my other channel but i'm asking for advice about uh blood pressure and stuff like that yeah that's different you know because i'm asking you for your input i'm asking you for all of that so that's different but this boat it's not optional it's not optional. It's it's mine and whatever I decide to do with it, y'all. It's it's what I'm gonna do. Like, <laughs> okay, let me give you guys. And, and I feel like this is so necessary for people. And it's not to be calling people ignorant because I was in the same position. But even though I think when a person says something before they really know what they're talking about you are ignorant okay and that's what it is if you don't know you shouldn't talk about it but i've seen channels doing just that talking about it and they don't know and i had to respond to one you know that early this morning let them know how ignorant they were and that they need to really you know um learn boat terminology i mean i'm still learning it it's a lot to learn but I'm just saying, like, I'm not coming for nobody either. They're trying to come for me and my little peace of mind. And, you know, at the end of the day, I'm just not going to allow people to do it. You know, people, y'all go ahead and feel how y'all want to feel. But did nobody give me that money? None of that money. I'm talking about the people that's, that's out here, you know, with all the remarks. And, wow, the ignorance is real. Um, go learn. Everybody got Google. You know, everybody got Google. Okay, so let me just tell you what a yacht is. It is a medium-sized cruiser or racing vessel, okay? That's what it is. Medium-sized. Now, mind you, mine is tiny, okay? But it is a slick craft cruiser, okay? Go back to the definition. Racing or cruising a yacht. Just putting it out there in a, in a little term that people might be able to understand. Um, yeah, mine is a cruiser and it is equipped with everything you need to actually live there, live on it if you want it to. Okay, now I have to say this, it is optional. Okay, sometimes people get boats and they use them for different reasons. I mean, everybody knows that. Well, let me be quiet. Everybody don't know that. Okay. <laughs> Some people live on their boats. Okay. The person that I bought my boat from, he lived on his boat. I mentioned it for four years. Four years he lived on it. Mm -hmm. You know, and that, that man looks healthy, looks, looks damn good, to be honest. To me, doing well. Got a condo and everything. I'm just saying... Some people prefer to live on their boats, and that's just what it is. Keep in mind, this is Florida, guys, okay? Um, that's what people do here, you know? Uh, I, I'm just talking about particularly here, 
in Florida. Okay, where I live now is the yacht capital of the world. Please stick, stay with me here. The yacht capital of the world, okay? Even though I didn't get my boat from here, okay? I wanted to put a little uh, distance in between, <laughs> uh, you know, my purchase and my possible living situation. So that's what I what I did. Um, um, I did mention in, in a video, though, that I had checked out you know, uh, a harbor here, which I did, but it's, it's not for certain. I'm, 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 I don't know. I do have the reservation locked, but I don't even know. You know, I don't even know. Maybe, maybe I'll just keep it where it says it's, it's safe, safely away. Um, but anyway, listen guys, my boat is a 28 foot boat vessel. That's another name for a boat. You know, just throw another term out there. Um, wow, I, I don't really know. But it, what I'll do is give you guys some more, like, boat terminology when I'm actually back on the boat. And explain to you what the right side and what the left side of the, of the boat is called. They have boat terms. Um... I'll explain to you what the bathroom and the kitchen and the bedroom area is called uh, once I'm back on the boat so that you can see, you know, not just me sitting in my living room. I want to be sitting there to tell you guys and show you guys too. So I'm going to just, because <laughs> I kind of let this person have it, you know, a little bit, you know, with the comment like, girl, stop being ignorant, girl. Um, and I'm not going to say her name because she knows who she is, old lady. She knows who she is. But, um, yeah, this lady just, you know, and I, I try, try time again, time and time again to stay subscribed to her channel. But then I see something stupid that this lady is saying and I go hit that unsubscribe button. Okay. So, I, you know, because I try to give people passes. But when you just clearly see that, you know what, this person just don't. They don't have anything in for you good. Okay, that's just not their intention. It's just not what they want. You know, <laughs> they just want to do you harm or make you look bad or, you know, put you out there in some type of a way. And that is their intention. That is their little, um, you know, um, content. That is their, you know, just, just what they need to do. And if that's the case, I don't need that. You know, um, because this person tried it actually with an ex of mine um, that she talked to. And yeah, they kind of that kind of gave y'all a hint. But I guess for the people that's really familiar with the bigger channel, though, because it happened on that channel. But this person that I'm talking about, she did an interview with my ex. Well, he actually wasn't an a, a ex. He was a friend that I was dating, guys, for some months. Um, Jamaican guy. And uh, <laughs> after we stopped dating, this purse, this channel did an interview on him. I'm giving y'all a lot of hints now on who, who I'm talking about. But she did an interview on him. And he was talking about, you know, the Bible and stuff like that. And it was uh, things that she knew nothing about. Like, and I just looked at that like, how can you interview somebody? And you, you just, you don't even know what you're talking about. You don't even know what he's talking about. You know, and it, it, it just make a person look bad. And they don't even see it. Then you old and kind of illiterate on top of it. So that just causes for a whole bad look. But anywho, yeah, guys. So if y'all figure, figure that out, good luck. But yeah, I'm just saying, guys, listen. I have a tiny yacht home and I'm happy with it. I don't care what anybody say. If I decide to live there, that's what I can do. Uh, it's equipped with everything I need. It, it is connected to electricity. It has everything I need. The same, just like this apartment that I'm sitting in. Okay, I can go get in that boat and I can make a meal for myself now keep in mind because i did show the burners the original burners on the boat they're burned out they're rusted out 
Keep in mind, this is an old boat. Y'all should have been able to tell from the wooden floors. You know, most newer boats have fiberglass floors. This is an old boat. So, you know, I don't care, new or old. Like, it was so many people in the comment section saying, it's mine. And at the end of the day, yes, that part. Okay, so I think it's a pretty good looking boat. Um, you know, considering it's an old boat, it's definitely, definitely well crafted and uh, well maintained. It was very well maintained. As y'all can see, all it really needed was a good cleaning on the inside. That was it. It wasn't a lot to be done. You know, the boat is dry. You know, some boats have a little moisture in them. This boat is completely dry. It has a very thick fiberglass hull. I know people don't know what that means, but, you know, maybe I'll show you guys, you know, when I go back to the boat, I'm going to show you guys um, so that you guys can understand a little bit better. Um, there's people out there saying, you got to get insurance for the boat. You got to get life jackets and I appreciate y'all telling me, you know, but these are very common sense type things. Um, they are, you know. Uh, but hey, if it make y'all feel better to say it, go ahead. I, I'm not knocking nobody. I'm not knocking nobody. I, I'm still, I'm still taking all advice. Okay, I know it's some people out there that's really concerned about my safety and they're being genuine, and I know that. <coughs> Excuse me. But it's a lot of people out there that they, they they just trying to be funny, you know. And and you know what? That just, once again, <laughs> makes me want to just, you know, prove y'all wrong, you know. Because obviously, if I got it, I plan to do something with it, obviously. I'm already halfway through cleaning it. Um, hold on, y'all, because I got a cough. I feel like I'm about to choke a little bit. But anyway, let's let me go ahead and end the video. Uh, when I go back to it, I'll show you guys a little bit more in detail. <coughs> Sorry about that, guys. <coughs> hold on. Oh, y'all. Yeah. I'm going to them dry coughs, too, y'all. Woo! I'm glad I had this tropical punch Kool-Aid right there. Y'all, because... Yeah, but... Sorry about that, y'all. Sometimes I get a dry hacking cough. I think it could be from the blood uh, pressure medication that I take. But back to what I was saying, when I go back to the boat, I'm going to show you guys um, some things, teach y'all some more boat terminology so that you guys can understand. But in the meantime, this is what I want you guys to do. Go and look at, since a lot of y'all already on YouTube, go and look at some of those um, videos about people who live on liveaboard boats. Okay, they're very interesting, very interesting because it teaches you how to be creative with your space because you know your space is so compacted and it's so limited. So it, it teaches you how to be creative with your space, okay? And I was just watching some videos like that early this morning, y'all. I watch them often. I'm subscribed to a lot of those channels. And they get millions of views. Keep in mind, a lot of these people are actually sailing across the world, too. They're actually sailing. I ain't going to be doing that. I can tell you now. I'm not going to be doing that. But eventually we will sail. Well, not sail, but cruise. Because I have a cruiser. Let me be clear. I don't want nobody saying it's a sailboat like some people have already. <laughs> It's not a sailboat. You don't see any sails on my boat, okay? But anyway, check out some of those videos. They're very interesting, very entertaining. And a lot of times, it's not just one person on the vessel. It's like two, a couple. 
I've watched a lot of videos like that with, with it being a couple um, or maybe one female starting out on, on her way in her own little boat and then she go and meet another guy who has his little boat and they connect. I, I've actually watched a channel like that. Um, very interesting. And that could give you a little bit of insight on, you know, um, how people live, actually live on their um, liveaboard boats. So with that being said, stay tuned.